I've always been fascinated by languages that bridge ancient and modern worlds. And there's one language that does this in a truly remarkable way. It's called Coptic, and it's the final stage of the ancient Egyptian language. But Coptic isn't just a relic of the past, it's a living link to one of the world's oldest civilizations, and its story stretches from the banks of the Nile all the way to the highlands of Ethiopia. Coptic didn't just appear out of nowhere, it evolved from the ancient Egyptian language, the same one used to write those famous hieroglyphs you've probably seen in museums or history books. But as Egypt entered the Christian era, something fascinating happened. The Egyptian language adopted the Greek alphabet, added a few letters from Demotic, that's the everyday writing script of ancient Egypt, and voila, Coptic was born. Why change the writing system? Well, it made Egyptian easier to read and write, especially for the growing Christian population. Imagine going from complex picture-like symbols to a straightforward alphabet. It was like upgrading from a stone tablet to a smartphone. But Coptic isn't just any old language, it became the voice of Christianity in Egypt. When the Bible was translated into Coptic, it opened up a whole new world for Egyptian Christians. And let's talk about those Coptic manuscripts. They're not just texts, they're works of art. Imagine pages adorned with intricate designs, vivid colors and beautiful illustrations. These illuminated manuscripts weren't just pretty to look at, they were a way of honoring the sacred words they contained. But the story of Coptic doesn't end in Egypt. It's like a stone thrown into a pond, creating ripples that spread far and wide. One of those ripples reached all the way to Ethiopia. Imagine Coptic monks trekking across deserts and mountains, bringing their faith, their liturgy and their language with them. Even today you can hear echoes of Coptic in Ethiopian church services. It's a living reminder of the connections between these two ancient cultures. So there you have it, the incredible journey of the Coptic language. From the banks of the Nile to the churches of Ethiopia, it's a language that has truly stood the test of time. Even though it's no longer spoken in everyday life, Coptic continues to echo through history, connecting us to ancient civilizations and enduring faiths. Next time you see an Egyptian hieroglyph or hear about Ethiopian Christianity, remember there's a good chance that Coptic played a part in that story. It's a testament to how languages can preserve culture, spread ideas and connect people across time and space.